everyone. So I hope everyone is doing well and healthy, especially during these times right now.、Uh, this is going to be a presentation on the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, and this presentation is going to be presented by me.、Uh, my name is Jason Lee, and also by Elliot Koshi, and we both represent the University of Hawaii's John A. Burns School of Medicine. So, what is COVID-19? Well, COVID-19 is also known as the coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2. It's a type of virus that really damages our lungs. And also, on the surface of these viruses, you have these little proteins that we're going to put here in purple that allows them to enter our cells in the first place. And within these viruses, you have a material called RNA, which is kind of like its brain. So, it needs this type of material for it to really survive and replicate when it gets into our bodies. So how does COVID-19 spread? Well, there are two ways we're going to talk about. The first way is when someone with coronavirus here on the left in green coughs or sneezes on or near someone without coronavirus on the right. So you can see these droplets being passed from one person to the next. And the reason why this is a problem is because these droplets themselves have these little small coronavirus particles, which can cause infection in someone without、um, the virus. So the second way that COVID-19 really spreads is. When someone with the virus COVID-19 coughs, sneezes, or even touches some other type of object or material, and the reason why that's problematic is because that causes the virus to move from that person and now to the object. So after that, you can have someone come along, touch that object, and then start touching their face. And this is a problem because that virus can then now move from the object to the person. And these viruses have also been shown to probably live up to maybe a couple of hours on surfaces after being infected by someone who had COVID-19. So, how long does it take for you to get sick? Well, the first thing that really happens is when the virus gets inside of you, it starts to multiply and divide until there are a lot of viruses inside of you. And once there is enough, or when there is a massive amount of viruses inside of you, you can develop something known as symptoms around five days later. And we can think of symptoms as kind of changes to our body. That occur because of this virus, and they can include things like fever, changes in body temperature, coughs, things of that nature. And again, this really happens after the virus starts dividing, dividing, dividing until you have so much in your body, and causing you to have symptoms again in the first place. So let's talk a little bit more about the symptoms of COVID-19. So sometimes people with the virus may have no symptoms, and they may actually feel pretty good, even though they have the virus.、Um, just like our person here on the left, they may not show signs that they're feeling sick. However, during other times, people with the virus may not feel so good, and they may show symptoms. And so that's why it's kind of hard to tell who has the coronavirus because not everyone will have the same kind of symptoms or signs of just feeling sick in general. So, what exactly do these symptoms look like in someone who has the virus? Well, common symptoms include one, a fever, and this can just be a feeling of heat, just feeling too hot. A second one is fatigue, which is also just feeling tired, sleepy.、Uh, another symptom is coughing. A fourth one is just hard to breathe. Fifth,、um, just loss of smell, and then six, you may have a loss of appetite, so you may not feel as hungry as much.、Anymore. So next, we're going to talk about who is at most risk. Well, first are people who are already sick; they may have some other type of health problem already. Second are our kapuna, our elderly, and our grandparents. And also, while young people have a very low chance of getting really sick, they can still carry the virus, which is why it's really, really important that we be very careful so we don't get our parents, grandparents, and also loved ones sick. So we're nearing the end of our presentation now, and I put this map here to really show you guys how widespread this virus is and just how severe it is. You know, it's not only impacting my community and your community; it's impacting so many different places around the world. And the thing about this virus is that because it's so widespread and because it spreads so fast from person to person, it may be a while until this virus goes away and until we're safe again. So in the meantime, it's really, really important. For us, as sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, granddaughters, grandsons, and friends, and so forth, to really be safe and really practice the guidelines that we were told about, and these include things like maintaining a six feet social distance,、um, wearing protective gear like masks when appropriate, and also washing our hands as frequently as possible, especially after going outside to public places. 
If there's anything as a take on point that I would like you guys to take away from this presentation, it would probably be that so we can do our responsibility of helping to prevent the spread of this virus rather than making it worse. So thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to really listen to and read this presentation. If anything, I do hope it was helpful and that you guys were also able to take something away from it. And please be sure to stay safe and please be sure to stay healthy. And I'm sure that we'll all be able to get through these tough times together. Thank you.